Uh, well, Radwin had been uh, very active in the fixed wireless access uh, market for many years, almost 20 years now, uh, selling mostly sub-6 gigahertz products. The more fiber deployment came in and the more the demand grew, then there was a need for higher capacity. The telegraph does change the game or the rules of the game. It provides mesh over millimeter wave, which we believe is a real way to address many of the challenges. I would look at it from three different perspectives. First of all, as you were saying, it's overcoming uh, the inherent limitation of millimeter wave, which is range and line of sight. So if you have mesh, you can overcome those two. Uh, the second one would be the availability of the network. Once you have mesh, V-band, for example, is very susceptible to weather. If you have just a point-to-point -point or a point-to-multipoint, then you plan for a rainy day, literally speaking, because the range becomes shorter. If you have a mesh solution, the availability of the overall network, the ability to cover everything is much easier. The third point is actually the flexibility of the architecture. When you're deploying a point-to-multipoint millimeter wave, you need to put a base station and to have a line of sight or access to, let's say, the homes that you can see from that location. Let's imagine now your network is growing, and there is now another house outside of the range of your existing infrastructure. Before, before you had mesh, you need to build a new base station there. Right now, when there is a mesh, that new home just needs to see another component of the mesh. It can be any one of the other homes, any other street furniture-based site or any other component of that mesh. And that means that you have scalability and ability to start small and grow with the network, either its capacity or range. The mesh really enables you to invest as you grow and uh, cover an area. You, it translates into lower OPEX, lower CAPEX, and ability to grow the network and serve a whole neighborhood with a mesh. I think that one of the things that the mesh brings in, and we see it a lot when we're discussing Teragraph now, is the fact that it's a multi-service kind of uh, uh, mesh. You can put Wi-Fi access points, you can connect homes, you can connect cameras, you can do a smart city and connectivity to homes over the same network. We need to invest and keep investing in simplifying operation. Mm -hmm. You need to manage the mesh very, very well to know where it fails, where it performs, what are the loads of the data, so that's monitoring. Installation should be simple. All the things we're all working on and we should keep working on because I think this is the key to lowering the cost and to make it really attractive to the service providers.